Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand switch statement in C. In our previous classes, we have covered uh, many of the selection statements. Switch statement is also a selection statement or conditional statement. In our previous classes, we have covered if else statement, uh, nested if statements, and uh, cascaded if statement like else if statement. So all these concepts has already been covered in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now coming to this class we'll try to understand switch statement so what this switch statement is a switch statement allows a variable to be tested for equality against a list of values so a variables value so what what is the job of this switch statement is a variables value will be tested against a list of values each value is called a case and a variable being switched on is checked for each switch case so let's uh, we'll try to understand these lines of uh, uh, these lines of definitions we'll try to understand it by using this example this is the syntax of switch statement this is the syntax of switch statement in the switch uh, switch is the keyword and uh, uh, it is assigned with a variable uh, it is assigned with a variable and what the switch statement will do is uh, switch statement allows a variable to be tested for equality against a list of values so the this value of the variables here the value of the variable is assigned with b this value of the variable is tested with a list of values so here the list of values are a b c f so this value is tested with this list of values and each value is called so each value is called as case and case is another keyword keyword which uh, describes the uh, describes the values in the list so uh, with which so the value of this variable is compared against all these values if any of this value is equal to then that particular case will get executed so what it's stating is the val uh, the variable being switched on means this one the variable being switched on is checked for each switch case each switch case so to each and every switch case this variable will get compared wherever the clay the value is equal that case will get executed so let's try to understand this here the grade is b so the b value is compared with this value a this case a so is it equal is a equal to b no it is not so this b is compared with this b yes it is equal so this case part the case b will get executed so this part of the case will get executed which is printf well done so it is going to print a, it, is, it is having a printf statement and that print will get executed after that we are using a statement called break statement so what is this break statement and it is one of the important aspect that needs to be understood in switch cases so what is this break statement break is a, a, a jump statement means when Whenever a break is getting executed within the switch so in this case we will try to understand with respect to the switch it can be used in many other conditional statements or iterative statements also right now whenever the break is identified by the compiler in the switch statement in the switch statement so it will come out of the switch and the lines after the switch will get executed which means break the program execution here so within this switch if it identifies a break break the execution here execute the next line after the switch function after the switch statement so that is the meaning of break so break is a keyword and break means it is jumping to the end of the switch and the line after the switch will get executed okay that is the use of break so what do we need to give a break statement within every case yes we have to give uh, because if we want to come out of the switch statement after the after executing the part of the switch switch function we can have multiple statements we have given only one statement in a case we can have multiple statements also compound statements can also be provided within the switch case 
okay so uh, if break is not identified what happens if break is not given in the case what happens what happens is it will continue its execution until it identifies the break statement for example for example here our case is b so we are going to compare this with b so this part will get executed assume that this break is not there in the case b so what happens is this printf will get executed after that this printf will also get executed assume that this is also not there this this break is also not there in the program so what happens this will get executed after that it identifies a break statement so here it is going to break come out of the switch function and uh, the next part of the program will get executed so that is the use of break so if you want to so there there is no need but in case uh, most of the cases we need the break statement there are some cases there is no need to give the break statement also so you would like to execute these two cases uh, uh, continuously for uh, for some programming there there may be such kind of requirement in that cases there is no need to give the break statement okay so the other point that we need to understand with respect to the switch is it is default case so what is this default case default case means if none of these values are are true in the sense the b is if b is not there in the cases if none of these cases are true by default it is going to execute this statement it is it is not mandatory to use default but it is a good practice to use default because if none of the statements are there means the user should know that the input given by the user there is some mistake with respect to the input given by the user or by the programmers okay so it is uh, by default given by the programmer so we are going to compare b with uh, the cases by default if if none of the grade is true if none of the grade if the value given by the uh, uh, assigned to the grade is not true so by default function will get executed let's try to execute this program and check how the output will get printed uh, by using the switch function so here is the execution so the, this is the program the same program used here uh, the grades are a b c f and here the grade by default it is given as b so let's uh, uh, compile this program and uh, execute this program okay so what it is printing well done your grade is b so well done well done has been printed uh, because the grade is b it is going to compare it is going to stop here its execution and uh, means uh, b, b and b are equal so the case part of uh, case b will get executed here well done will get printed after that break after that break means this printf is getting executed so your grade is the value of the grade will get printed okay so this is the use of break statement let's try to do the same thing without the break statement so just delete this break statement compile and execute it so well done you passed so the break has not been executed where the break has been executed the break has been executed here in the c kc wherever the break gets executed we are going to come out of the switch function and the functions uh, the the programming part after the switch will get executed so this printf statement has been executed let's try to see the uh, default case also so let's what we will give is we will give the grade which is not there for example n so the n grade has been provided invalid grade okay so default condition means if none of the cases are matching with the variables value then the default case will get executed so this is all about switch statement hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching